this looks so beautiful. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> so good. I started dressing up and turns out I looked pretty, so I stuck with it. <laughs> about the drag ball scene. How does this work? Wow. So basically, when, while clubbing, um, I started seeing people vogue and do different things like runway, what I just demonstrated for you. And I wanted to learn. I was in a performing arts school at the time, and I was just like, oh, what is this art form? What are they doing? So I started um, taking to it, got really good, and got noticed by what we call the legends of the house ballroom scene. They looked at me and they was like, come here, honey. <laughs> <laughs> and basically they recruited me to be a part of their house. And the first house I joined was the house of Westwood. And joining the house of Westwood, I was opened up to this beautiful scene of the house ballroom scene where different people from the LGBT community get together and form these teams or like families and they compete against each other in various categories. So it was just awesome because coming where I come from, I found a new outlet to express myself. So I started from going to the clubs to going to balls, lovely spectacles where LGBTQ people get together and in great camaraderie, compete in these various categories. And I've been at it since, well, that time. <laughs> now, earlier you said you were trying to find a refuge. Uh, why is that? Well, basically, I come from a beautiful part. We're in Brooklyn right now, right? Yeah. Anybody here live in Brooklyn? Yeah. Fabulous. So I'm from a marvelous, beautiful, quaint part called Brownsville. <laughs> and in Brownsville, um, if you wiki it, it says it's straightforward. Um, basically, it's the most public housing per square block than probably any other neighborhood in the country. So with that, the extreme poverty and things like that, um, there was a lot of bias. I had to face a lot of things. You know, I didn't need a karate school because I learned it right on the street. <laughs> and um, basically, I, I just, it wasn't for me. You know, we didn't have cable. Um, Brownsville was probably the last neighborhood to get cable at the time. So, you know, I, I really needed some way to get out, to express myself, to really find what I was hiding for so long in my own home.